scientists who have looked back on the period have deemed the search for the Philosopher's Stone a fool's quest, and alchemy itself a pseudoscience. So perhaps the dream of the alchemist is not so absurd. People began to decouple alchemy from chemistry and began to associate chemistry with the kinds of assaying and weighing and quantitative uh, methods and also the interest in quality of they now started to speak up as only the transmitted to the first part of the series. Crystallization, 
distillation, sublimation, a fundamental process in chemistry. As for the alchemists' central ambition of finding the philosopher's stone, using uh, substances in gold, that objective is now upon. We can transmute in the sense that nuclear reaction can take the nucleus of other elements and turn them into the nucleus of gold. The dream of mortality is certainly very old, and I think this would be. So perhaps the dream of the alchemist is not so absurd. Actually, science magic is in the early stages of the civilization. We're not as disparate, we're not as distinct as we now think they are. If you think about it critically, in magic, you take a series of objects and produce something totally unexpected from them. In science, doing very simple looking thing. We can transmute in the sense that nuclear reaction can take the nucleus of other elements and turn them into the nucleus of gold. People began to decouple alchemy from chemistry and began to associate chemistry with the kinds of methane and